Hey there, my name is Gavin Nielsen. And we're continuing our little micro mouse adventure. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we need to get a 3D contacts library. So let's do that real quickly. So we'll search for Simscape multi-body multi -body contacts library. And uh, Google or Bing or wherever your favorite is, and you'll go to this MATLAB Central link, um, which is a uh, a freely downloadable library. So uh, all you have to do, you may have to sign in to um, the MathWorks MATLAB Central file exchange. It's it's a free membership. I can't remember if you have to, but in case you do, um, and then what th this gives you some functions and, and examples and all this sort of thing to use it. I'm going to show you how to use it though here. So we'll click download and this will pull it down and we'll click save. So I think it's about, yeah, it's about 20 megs. So I've got a pretty quick connection here. We'll just pull this down and put it where it needs to go. There's a couple things I want to point out about, um, using libraries, third-party uh, third party libraries inside uh, Simulink. So click on open folder. There it is. So I'll click copy. That's just my downloads folder. And I'm going to put it right here in, the, in this folder. So I'll paste it here. Now uh, I'm using release 17, 2017a, so I'm going to copy this. This is inside the zip, and then paste. So now I have, this is the downloaded zip file. Here's that subfolder. Now this is a really important step. I'm going to expand this, left click on libraries, right click, and then add to path. And then I'll choose selected folders and subfolders. So that's going to allow MATLAB and Simulink to know where to go find the definitions of these things, even though that's not our current um, folder. So uh, then we can um, check this out. Uh, we can expand libraries, open up the contact forces lib.slx, and here it is. And here's the actual library. So next time we'll talk about uh, exactly how to use this, but if we pull up our existing model, I'll just show you how to drop it in there. Um, we'll go into the 3D. There we go. And we're going to be using the sphere to plane force. So we can just drag and drop. Okay. And um, we'll go into more detail about what all these different things are uh, the next time. But that's kind of the, the basics of getting the library and inserting it. Uh, one other thing I want to mention is that as soon as you exit out of MATLAB and Simulink, um, this library is not going to be added to the path anymore. If you want that to stay added to the path, what you have to do is you have to open MATLAB as, an, as a system administrator. So if it's your personal PC, you can probably do that if, if it's something you know managed by a college or by a corporation or something you might have to uh, ask your IT pro to do that for you but basically if you open MATLAB as an administrator and add things to the path then those things become permanent otherwise you have to do it each time uh, so yeah useful to know um, you can also copy these things into the same folder if if that's the way you'd prefer to do it. Um, I, I don't like it to get too messy, but um, whatever your preference is. So that's it for this time, and next time we'll talk about how to um, take these contact conditions and connect the two. And again, the problem we're trying to solve here is that we have intermittent contact with things in a maze. And specifically, the wheels are in contact with the maze floor um, some of the time. If, if you exert a certain amount of torque, you could actually spin the wheels and they lose contact. So we, we need to model the friction, the contact, and all those sort of things. 
and this is a, a nice library to, that uh, we can approximate some of those horses. So anyway, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, come back and see me again soon. Thanks.